Hey folks, Black Cross here, and welcome back to Tales of Bazeria. Okay, so we made it to this island, and now we know that uh, Grimoire is nothing more than a uh, Moloch. So now that we know that much of information, now our main target is to look for uh, Grimoire. If we can, anyway. Let's get started! <laughs> Okay. Let's go ahead and attack these things. Getting grouped up together now. You better be ready. The power. You got Okay. So how much is going to be required for this cat chest? Damn it. 185. Why does it require so much? Ugh. And there's not a lot here, is there? Ugh. Well, something tells me this is going to take me forever to farm for this stuff. Oh well. It's not that big of an island anyway. Our main task is just to try to find this uh, Grimoire fella. Whoa! You got way too close right there. This Grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lofi said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Can I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with you. Alright, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! 
We Norman hate being called that. Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> Don't say that! Okay. I don't see another chest anywhere. Said two, but I don't see. What are those penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm? Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But... How do they make the eggs? Huh? <laughs> That's... Well... So, Laffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. Oh, that gum. Ugh. Yeah, so far, I'm no having luck finding the other chest. There's supposed to be two of them, but I'm not finding the second one. Oh well, we're almost at our destination anyway. Especially since it's right up here somewhere. Is that... Grimoire? <sighs> She's moving away! Ah! Uh, we angered one! A dragon? No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends with dying? Okay, that thing is barely taking a beating right now. Oh, 
about dead. I refuse to fall here. Gosh. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bienfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Good question. Which training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Magilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some... incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <sighs> Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. <laughs> uh, my apologies. It's uh, still a woman technically, so you don't ever ask that time. question. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <laughs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am! You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Hmm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Well, let's put it this way. We kind of need to, especially oh, yeah. considering we have that book now. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? Okay, I, I know that be. there's... We should remain on our guard. I think I see it. I know I saw a red demon mark, and I know it was somewhere. There it is, right there. Ooh, it's a biggie! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! 
Okay, that takes care of that one. What's this? Ooh, chess. Okay. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amenoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal. You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? Uh oh. You got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. No, no, count me out! Wow! No, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> Oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. <laughs> Well, shit. Uh, that she devil's kind of scary at times. Uh, it's like, not to self, don't piss her off. Okay, I can't, can't go through that thing. That's Haria Village. To the inn! One and all! Whoa. Okay, stand back, stand back. There you go. Okay, whew. Okay, seems a bit empty. From what we heard in Isalt, 
demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. <laughs> well, you did ask. Alright then, let's see here. There's a chest here. Okay, let's see here. I think we need to... Oh, uh, that's right, we need to go up to the end. Okay. Right here. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. All right, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grimm can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? What? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher, you said you didn't want to be called ma'am. So, I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. Alright, I'll teach you how to read Ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Someone tell me this is gonna be a while. Oh gosh. Everybody's everywhere. Why are you everywhere? Gosh. Let's see. There's three more chests around town, too. I'll try looking for the chests to see if I can't find them anywhere. That's just a flower, but I can always use them. Mm. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. <laughs> I just love how casual she says it all. <laughs> uh, she just casually says it. Damn! Uh, had a chuckle and then all of a sudden I was shot down. Okay, if I can get back over here and open this chest right here. I need soul pieces and not actual m money. I've got plenty of it. I mean, I don't buy a lot of supplies either. Maybe I need to start doing that. Purchasing some supplies. Wouldn't hurt. I mean, I've got stuff that I'm not using. What's this up here? Tell me your secret. Ooh, another chest! So cat chests don't count as regular chests. Now I guess that makes sense considering the fact that they're mostly used for like set bonuses. Still though, it's kind of weird.
I know for a fact that I'm not going to get anywhere close to being able to open that chest, but still. It doesn't hurt to collect everything that I find. And the expedition's done! Ooh! We got another piece of treasure. Wow. That crest. Treasure room is slowly filling up now. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> Cruel. There you are. I was wondering where you went. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the languagey work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. I wonder what they'll discover in that book. Can't be good. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Er, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with the Nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So, like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now, where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into the nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm. It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. Huh? It's not about Enominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Yeah, well, now curiosity pranks me. Yet. Shall we go check on them? Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm afraid that if I go in there, we may encounter with some bigger problem. Because if this place was supposed to be uh, avoided by the Abbey and everything like that, 
Flu tells me that we're about to encounter something after we talk to them. But I really, really want to know what they're going to say. Oh, it's tempted and I can't believe I have to wait another week. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm recording this uh, all in one day. Five parts so far. So this is the last one I'm going to have to do for the day. Damn it. I want to know what's going to happen. We're finally actually going to find out what's actually in the book and what it reads. Uh, oh well. At any rate, though, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, this is Black Cross signing off. Take care, guys.